secret agent K-7 returns. America's number one adventurer, K-7, former United States secret agent who operated in 22 countries on land, on sea, and in the air, brings you a story of today. We take you to secret agent K-7's headquarters. This is K-7 speaking. Send in Agent M for assignment. At once, K-7. Special Agent M reporting for duty. Agent M, this city is the focal point of world trouble today. As you know, it formerly belonged to one nation and was made free after the World War to create a port for another country. Now the First Nation wants it back. As a result, the city is a hotbed of intrigue and threatens to become the torch that might ignite another world war. I have traced the famous spy, Andre Zerman, here. I want you to find out what he is plotting. Here is his photograph, an all-known fact. Keep me informed. Early that evening, a high-ranking officer arrived in the city. He visited Andre Zerman in the latter's rooms within an hour after his arrival. I'm glad to see you. I've been here three days. I thought you were not coming. I came as soon as my affairs were in order. Tonight is the embassy ball. I had to be here for that. Zerman, we are ready to act. I want you to listen to me carefully. We act tonight? Yes, Zerman. We are determined to seize the city. Our enemies have won sympathy here. Many of the population favor them. You are here to change that feeling. We must make the people of this city hate those who oppose us. Now, people already hold many important positions. They are not popular, Zerman. We have decided on a bold stroke. We are going to murder certain of our own diplomats. Murder? But why? I don't understand. Three of our people who hold power here are no longer popular with our leaders. We are to dispose of them. Do you understand, Zerman? The people of this city would never think of accusing us of murdering our own people. They will say our enemies have been plotting. We will gain the people's sympathy and support. And at the same time, liquidate three who are no longer useful. Yeah, it is good. They will blame our enemies. I had not thought of that. Our plans have been carefully laid. The newspapers will raise a great cry. Certain of our people will stage demonstrations in the streets. When the rioting has reached its peak, our troops will march into the city and restore order. And the free city will be ours. Exactly. You are to be the key man, Zerman. Three are to die. Two of them tonight. I am ready. Zorgio is to be the first. He will leave his home between 9 and 9.30. He lives in a quiet street. There are shadows to hide you. When you're finished, come to me at my hotel. Three are to die. 
to die. Two of them tonight. A few minutes later, the officer left German. Agent M and Yvonne watched him from across the street. There's someone coming out, Yvonne. Whoever it is, he's in uniform. Wait until he passes under the light. Yvonne, I know that man. Who is he? The head of another country's secret police. His presence here means trouble. K-7 was right. That officer has been calling on Zerman. That means Zerman is here for a purpose. We've got to act fast. Do you think they were plotting? There's no doubt about it. Now, wait. The officer is nearly out of sight. I want you to follow him. Find out where he's staying if you can. I'll stay here and play with Zerman if he leaves his room. Yvonne stayed a few hundred feet behind the officer and on the opposite side of the street. They'd hardly disappeared from sight before Zerman also left his room. He walked rapidly. A few minutes later, he stopped before the home of Zorgio, high consular representative. As he paused, M came to a stop in the shadows behind him. One minute to nine. Zorgio should be leaving soon. Yeah. This car is blinking. I see it ahead. A few minutes later, the front door of the diplomat's house opened and a short, stocky figure stepped into the night. Halt! Stay where you are. Don't try to run, Simon. I arrest you. That will teach you not to interfere in the affairs of Andre Zerman. Yvonne followed the officer from Zerman's room to a leading hotel. He registered and went directly to his suite. Yvonne waited in the lobby. An hour later, she saw a man who answered Zerman's description enter the lobby. He stopped at the desk. Man in form 407 is expecting me. My name is Andre Zerman. You are to go up at once, Herr Zerman. Room 407. Yvonne waited until Zerman had gone into the elevator. Then she followed him by way of the stairs. Room 407 was at the end of the hall. He crouched outside the door. Sergio is dead. He came out of his home a little after nine o'clock. He never reached his car. Good. He had no trouble then. It was also necessary to kill another. He followed me. Did not see him until after Sergio was dead. Then he stepped in front of me. Who was he? A foreigner, an American, I think. I had to kill him. An American? Well, no matter. You are sure of Zorgio. There must be no slips. Zorgio is dead. Then they are ready to strike a second time. And who is to be next? The High Commissioner. He also goes to the Embassy Ball. But he has already left his home. It is nearly 10 o'clock. True. But you forget. I, too, am going to the Embassy Ball. Tonight at midnight, I will step out onto the south balcony. The high commissioner will be with me. Somehow, I will get him in front of a window so his figure will be outlined against the light. He will shoot from the wall. they were to strike again. Yvonne had two hours. Who was the American who had been shot? Was it Agent M? Yvonne inquired of the police. At the hospital, there was no report. There was only one thing she could think of. M had been shot. Somehow, his body had been removed. She determined to bring Zerman to justice alone. At 12 that night, she concealed herself in the shadows under the south wall of the embassy. became accustomed to the darkness, she made out the figure of a man lying flat on the wall near her. Then the balcony doors opened. A figure was outlined in the darkness, but not against the lights of a window behind him. Instead, 
the bright rays of a flashlight were trained directly on him. If you move from the toe of that wall, I'll kill you. I also have a gun. Don't try to jump. Oh. I warned you. You wouldn't listen. If Emma's dead, I hope you die too. Yvonne, is that you? Emma, are, are you all right? Your, your head is bandaged. A man tried to kill me early in the evening, Yvonne. His bullet grazed my head. A diplomat was killed. He was a close friend of the High Commissioner. I came to the ball to warn the Commissioner. I know the rest. I heard them plotting. The officer whom we saw leave Zerman's room was supposed to bring the Commissioner out under the balcony. Zerman was to shoot from this wall. It's too bad you didn't know in time to save his life. I did save his life, Yvonne. I turned my searchlight on the officer. He is the one who died. Now his own police will track down his murderer. They won't have to, Em. What do you mean? Look there, in the shadow. I killed him. I thought he had shot you. humanity in their thirst for power. Listen for my next story. This is K7 speaking.